Welcome back, I'm Strobe, and in today's tutorial, I'm gonna teach you a couple quick tricks to get some of the effects I get asked about all the time. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is how to get that pitch down vocal effect. I realize it's been done to death, but I get asked about it a lot, so I'm gonna show you. So you take an acapella. Pump up the jam, pump it up, while your feet are stumping. Make sure your warp is on, and that you're in Complex Pro. Take it down, say an octave and pump up the jam, pump it up while your feet are stumping. Now, you can mess with the formants in the envelope to get a different kind of vocal effect. Pump up the jam, pump it up while your feet are stumping. And the jam is pumping, look at him, the crowd is jumping. Pump up the jam, pump it up while your feet are stumping. And the jam is pumping, look at him, the crowd is jumping. Pump up the jam, pump it up while your feet are stumping, and the jam is pumping. Look. Now another cool thing you can do, you can duplicate it, take this one, back to its original pitch, and layer them. Pump up the jam, pump it up while your feet are stumping. And if you mess with the, jam the different look at him, the volume, jumping. Pump up the jam, pump it up while your feet are stumping. And the jam is pumping. You can get a cool blend. Pump up the jam, pump it up while your nice feet layering, are stumping. Nice layering, octave doubling, throw some Look effects on, have a field day, pump make some cool new jam, disco tracks. So that's stumping. the first the thing. The second thing I'm going to show you today is how to get a quick and easy reverse reverb effect. And it's something you can use on pretty much any piece of audio, but we're gonna use a bit of that acapella that we had before. So we're gonna cut the piece off the lead, hold down option, drag it down. Once we have it on here, we're gonna go into our audio effects, grab a reverb, doesn't matter, any reverb. Now the thing to make sure is that it's completely wet we have a nice big decay in size, so we've got a long tail. Sounds good. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to freeze the track first, then we're going to flatten it. Then all you gotta do, reverse, and then grab it, bring it over, now you can obviously mess with the timing, but you'll have something along the lines of. Pump up the jam, pump it up while your feet are stumping. And again, you can take that, put a fade on it so it's even more. Pump up the jam, pump it up while your feet are st Again, you can do that with a drum sound, vocal, big hit, anything you want. It's a pretty simple process. So that's how you get a quick and easy reverse reverb effect. The last thing I'm gonna show you today is how to make a quick and easy noise wash, riser, down filter, up filter, whatever you wanna call it. So what you wanna do is grab any synth that has a noise oscillator. We don't need oscillator one, all we need is noise. So you wanna make sure your noise is on. Then we need to make a MIDI clip, go into that MIDI clip. Let's go back to our little analog turn off oscillator two, because we don't need any tone, we just want noise and see. Oh, that's just beautiful. I feel like I'm at the beach. So, there you go, you've got that. That's pretty darn boring. So, go over to your audio effects. Obviously, you can just grab an analog filter. Um, go to your auto, mess with the frequency. We're gonna get a nice rise and drop. Sounds pretty much like you're at the beach. Fantastic. 
The cool thing about the auto filter is you can also add a little bit of cool movement and in LFO into your filtering. You can do it by rate or by note step. So that's something simple you can do with pretty much any VST with a noise filter. You can just add, you know, the filter up, filter down. You can also side chain it, you know, however you want to do it. But, you know, this way you have a little more creative control rather than just using, you know, an uplifter or a down filter from a sample pack. You can make it as long as you want, as short as you want. You can, you know, vary it and do any kind of different automation throughout your entire track. Thanks for watching. If there's anything you want to see me cover in a future tutorial, leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube and other social media channels because I'm always updating with new content. And until next time, cheers. Oh, we're done? Oh.